How now? What news? He is almost supped. Why have you left the chamber? Hath he asked for me? No, you not, he has. We will proceed no further in this business. He hath honored me of late, and I have bought golden opinions from all sorts of people, which would be worn now in their newest gloss, not cast aside so soon. Was the hope drunk wherein you dressed yourself? Hath it slept since? And wakes it now to look so green and pale at what it did so freely? From this time such I account thy love. Art thou afeard to be the same in thine own act and valor as thou art in desire? Wouldst thou have that which thou esteemest the ornament of life, and live a coward in thine own esteem? Let it, I dare not wait upon, I would, like the poor cat in the adage. Prithee, peace! I dare do all that may become a man. Who dares do more is not. What beast was it then that made you break this enterprise to me? If you durst do it, then you were a man. And to be more than what you were, you would be so much <coughs> more than man. Nor time nor place did then adhere, yet you would make both. They have made themselves, and that their fitness now does unmake you. Ah! I have given suck, and know how tender it is to love the babe that milks me. I would, while it was smiling in my face, have plucked my nipple from his boneless gums and dash the brains out had I so sworn as you have done to this. If we should fail. We fail? Screw your courage to the sticking place and will not fail. When Duncan is asleep, where to the rather shall his day's hard journey soundly invite him, his two chamberlains will I with wine and wassail so convince that memory the warder of the brain shall be a fume, and the receipt of reason a limbeck only. When in swinish sleep their drenched natures lie as in a death, what cannot you and I perform upon the unguarded Duncan? What not put upon his spongy officers who shall bear the guilt of our great quell? Bring forth men, children only, <laughs> for thy undaunted metal should compose nothing but males. Will it not be received when we have marked with blood these sleepy two of his own chamber and use their very daggers that they have done it? Who dares receive it other, as we shall make our griefs and clamor roar upon his death? I am settled. <laughs> and bend up each corporal agent to this terrible feat. Away, and mock the time with fairest show. False face must hide what false heart doth know. <laughs>